Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Saturday Geeks with me, John Parker, and... Me, Jack Cowling. Let's crack on with the show, now for any business. Put it on! So again, hello out there to everyone around the world, and of course, hello out there to our subscribers. Um, I want to take the time to just say thank you to everyone who has recently subscribed to us. Um, much appreciated. And of course, has taken the time to um, watch our videos as well. Um, again, much appreciated. Now, thank you very much. We definitely, we definitely thank you. So the main topics in this video uh, are Justin Bieber has finally been charged for, for multiple different things. Even now, even more incidents are cropping up left, right and centre. Um, not only driving under the influence, DUI, or whatever. But yes, we'll be talking about that. And also, something that the school governors have decided to bring in, which will be um, to enforce longer school days and shorter holidays. And we'll be definitely giving our thoughts and opinions on that. Um, and finally we will end the video with the latest info on the Doctor Who costume. Well not latest info but our thoughts and opinions on what we think the costume looks like and how it's going to kind of bring the character of the Doctor. Or the Twelfth Doctor. So, let's begin. Okay, so something that's been going across the headlines quite recently, uh, mainly in America, not so much the UK surprisingly, um, is that Justin Bieber has finally been charged for driving under the influence, or DUI as they say. Um, but ever since that incident, more incidents have cropping up, not from last week or a couple of weeks ago, but before Christmas 2013. Um, last summer, many different incidents are now cropping up and he is being charged for it. And I have to say, for one, I for one, um, I'm particularly very happy with this because we all know what he's done in the past and it is uh, about time that we get some justice. Feel right. So let's kind of go through uh, what Justin Bieber has kind of done, the most controversial kind of things that he's done to kind of spark the anger in most people. So how far back could we Go. I suppose. Um, hmm. Just trying to think now because there's a lot of incidents that we have all seen, not only not only on YouTube but read in the paper. Um, I suppose the biggest thing he's ever done, which kind of sparked anger amongst people, is I suppose what he did in in the cleaners' bucket. I oh, remember. Do you remember that? Mm, yeah. Yeah, that was quite a good test. It still haunts me. Still, I don't know how anyone could kind of have the nerve to do that. Really, he should have been charged for that straight away. Or at least arrested. But one other controversial thing that he's done, which he's kind of been involved in, is uh, throwing eggs at a neighbour's house, I believe. Yep. Causing thousands of pounds in uh, damage. Now, what do you think about him being uh, charged for these things? Do you think it's a good thing? Or a bad thing? I'm pretty definitely sure I know you're going to say. Thing. Uh, yeah, definitely a good thing. I mean, I'm all for one for justice. All one for justice. So, you know, especially Justin Bieber, because I'm just getting fed up with him now. And I know that's my own opinion, and some people probably will hate that, but I'm just getting fed up with him. Just lock him up, throw away the key, until he can rectify his problems. But seriously, why is he being such an idiot? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. An imbecile, I haven't used that word for a long while. Mm. That thought you had, throwing him in jail, tossing away the key, mm -hmm. that is exactly, that is the, s the same line I've been thinking about for a very long time recently. He, <sighs> some people are saying he should go to rehab. Oh, he won't do any good, he'll go, oh yes, I'm really happy, I'm really good now, comes out, and he'll go back to because that's what he has to do. It won't be until he like, hits like end of 20s, 
to 30s, then he'll start to realise he can't keep doing that the rest of his life. Not only that, but he'll probably get bored of it, hopefully. And the f I suppose also, um, he's been making the headlines a lot since he announced his retirement. But for some reason, people are telling me that that's false, not true. I don't but know anymore. All I remember is hearing it on the radio and it sounded really high, so I'm not sure whether that's true. <laughs> um, but I think the idea of him stepping down for a bit is uh, definitely for certain. But if he keeps doing what he's doing, taking these drugs, getting into trouble, paying uh, charges for criminal uh, damage, uh, criminal activities, he's going to end up with nothing. Although, mind you, saying that with the way things are, with record deals and whatnot, I don't think um, that really will apply. Do you think? I think he's allowed to the rest of his life, unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately, when you become a celebrity, that normally says. And of course, if it's if he keeps it in the bank and he doesn't bust it, that's the right word. But uh, if he doesn't um, go into bank stuff, because you know what people do with money, uh, eventually the bank will it'll keep going through interest and it'll just keep piling up. So I don't know whether his money's going to be gone. It's just it really daft, like boy, it'll seem it's unfortunate. I just know for a fact there's going to come a point in the future where he is only going to be distant memory. These oh, yes. little fan girls that he's got running around after him, hopefully they will grow up and start to see Justin Bieber for who he really is. Someone yeah. who is unreliable, untrustworthy, mean, horrible, stupid. Uh, oh, wow, you've got a list. I didn't know you got a list, Jack. Oh, oh I have a list. Um, but I mean, seriously, how on earth can you be a fan of someone who would actively spit on you for fun. Oh, seriously. I, mean, but, I bet some of the girls probably went, Oh my god, he spat on me! And then you're just like, Stop it! He spat on you! Be angry! No, they're completely brainwashed into his music. He's so dreamy. Look, if Justin Bieber was to just kind of calm if down told, yeah, if he toned down. Accept what he'd done was wrong, then, you know... We'd like him more. Yes. I haven't got Actually, I don't know. Is, is there any other, is there any other um, pop stars, or any type of musician of, of today's age? Is any others like Bruce Bieber? Or is he literally unique in his actions? Hmm. Possibly. I wouldn't class Molly Cyrus, because she's doing something... Yeah, she's doing for, it, for a cause. She, she's... yeah, she's going through... I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Let's not get into my Cyrus, because I'm confused with her as well. Yeah. So I suppose Justin Bieber is the kind of only one who... Uh, to, to our knowledge, who is kind of the unique celebrity... I wouldn't call him unique, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far and call him... No, no, I'm not unique in his actions, not unique in a personality. No. Well, no. yeah, personality, but not person, you know. No. Not unique in a good way, unique in a bad way. There you go. Yeah. Still. If he if his personality just calms down a little bit and starts to be a good person, then the tide might change. But for now, let's move on. Yay! So our next point is a longer school days, an idea that the school governors have brought in. Um, in the UK, noted. Well, yeah. It's the kind of thing that's made me kind of laugh a little bit, to be honest. I mean... I wouldn't call it a ridiculous idea. I mean, it's it's not a bad idea either, but I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work out. I mean, it won't affect you. I mean, you're in sixth form, you're last year in sixth form. So when yeah, you leave... And, and it, won't, it won't take effect on next year anyway. So. Yeah, well, it'll probably take I don't know what they're saying anyway. No, it'll probably take at least another three, four years until it takes effect. But the idea of having longer school days, do you think it's beneficial? No, definitely not. The reason for that being, for the, um, if, if you imagine from going from nine to six, they're going to have homework issues. So the, the teachers will set homework the natural way, and they can pile up as you go along through the years. Yeah. And what will happen is they'll want to do their homework. It will be seven o'clock by the time they get home. Uh, the parents will probably be wanting them to get to bed early for some for the next day. They won't have enough time to do the homework, or the whole could become less um, of quality. More true, rushed. True, true. Um, their sleep patterns will go haywire. Um, what else will happen to them? 
Well, it, it just, it, it'll just literally ruin that score. Like. I mean, come on. If, if you think about it, they finish at three for a reason, Jack. They've got to have yeah, that ample yeah, time yeah. to do the work. And it's going to make it... I mean, seriously, can you imagine a school day being that long? Having that many lessons in a day? Or unless they extend the lessons as a period. It's ridiculous. This is the Conservatives again. That they're being irrational and trying to get more money into the country. More money for them to spend more in money. other countries. More money? You know the yeah, whole no, no, no. idea? Yeah, but come on. No, no, you can. Uh, okay. All I wanted to say was, did you know those Conservatives are, are, are literally taking some of our money and putting it to other countries? Saying, you know, you can have that. And I, and I know, I know, that sounds horrible. But at the current moment in time, the UK needs the money, it needs it. We're well, running on the bottom dregs here, and, it, and all the government's doing is splashing it out. I have my own personal motto. You can't help others unless you can help yourself. This is why. If you help someone, I don't know, with money issues, you're going to come to a point where you're going to have money issues. Therefore, you can't help yourself. You're in danger. You're in trouble. And so are they. They can't rely on your help anymore. They struggle. So you, you both struggle. As long as you can help yourself and get yourself sorted first, that's when you can help others. Exactly. We can't afford yeah, exactly. the splash this cash out. And yet the government are now bringing out these stupid policies on the school and other stupid policies I've seen. And then, of course, you see on, the CEO David Cameron on the news in posh places, smiling away with his bald head shining. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it just it drives me mad. I want UKIP or anyone better than the Conservatives. Not the Liberal Party and not the Conservatives. Okay? Just get them out. They've had, they've had their yeah. turn. True, true. But, I mean, um... The idea of homework, if we go back to homework, for example, the only reason why they bring in homework is because the teachers can not teach in the classroom. They literally can't. You know, no. I mean, you've been in classrooms where the kids are, like, shouting and God knows what. Oh, well, that's, that's, that's the teacher's over. fault. That's the teacher's fault. They should be able to control them. And I know, obviously, that's being a bit harsh, but come on, they are trained for this thing. So they're not, are they listening? Half of them sometimes don't listen in the training. But, um, well, it is known that some schools have highly disruptible classes, and those teachers I feel for. Um, I'm not going to give any examples, because to be honest, I don't really know a lot, but I do know it does happen. I have had uh, news mm. knowledge from that. But I, I still think they could control them better in places like my school and things like that. I mean, they do, really. They are quite strict, but carrying on with your point. But, I mean, uh, with my granddad, for example, there was no such thing as... Um, disruptions in the classroom. Teachers were allowed to control their classroom. Teachers these days, I suppose, they, are, they don't have much control, not because it's just their fault, but it's because laws and rules, like, yeah, yeah, you can't yeah. really confront a student and, you know, not cause physical harm. What's the word? You, you can't do what you used to do. Yeah, exactly. You see, Jack, the Cedar, but they removed capital punishment. And the problem is, they can't get a big cane and start slapping it across the desk to fight anymore. They can't bring the student to the front of the desk, like back in my mum and dad's time, and turn their hand over and whack their hand until it bled. Back then, there was discipline. discipline. Very hard discipline, and it worked. Discipline these days is weak. This is why we have murderers, robbers, and thieves, and... Well, robbers, thieves. This is why we have all those people running on the streets, causing trouble. Because they have no sense of discipline. I mean, there's going to be a lot of do-gooders, you know, saying, "Oh, you can't bring capital punishment back. It's against it's it's, it's against human rights." Human rights. Oh, yeah, yeah. human rights yeah. is completely overrated these but, days. But, but what I'm saying is, look, they're, they're going to say not to bring it back because again, human rights, and because it always hurts them. You know, they don't deserve to be hurt in order to be punished. When unfortunately, mate, the modern school kids uh, are not. It's not going to come into them. You can shout at them as much as you like. You can give them all the consequences in the world. They're not going to listen. They'll just go back to doing it again. The only way to do it is to give them pain. They won't do it again, will they? Because mm. it'll hurt. This I mean, we're not going to kill them, are we? Not, not, no. not, not killing them. No. Just giving them a bit of nice pain. <laughs> exactly. And this is why, um, I believe, uh, the point that we started with the topic, is that the idea of 9 to 6 won't work. <clears throat> it's just 8 to 9 to 3, however... The second idea they had was to shorten the holidays from 13 weeks to 7. Now, this is good in a sense that they spend more time at school. Forget 9 till 6, that 
in my opinion, isn't going to work. However, if they shorten the holidays, more time at school, more focus and more education. More time to come home, to have free time, do homework. The other weekends, they'll have Christmas and Easter, and a couple of weeks in the summer, right in half term. Actually, there'll, there'll be more breaks in the year than having like six weeks in August. I, I, I do agree. But at the same time, I disagree. Hmm. The disagreeing, the disagreeing being, I think seven weeks is a bit too short for holiday because you do need ample time, especially if you're going to big places for holiday. Well, I, uh, I, uh, I do think thirteen weeks. Seven would weeks. Be... Um... Maybe, maybe, maybe drop it, drop it down to nine weeks. Well, imagine two in the summer, two at Christmas. That's four. Oh, I see per year. Oh, I was getting confused. Carry, no, carry per on, but year, yeah. of course, per year, per year. Because okay. your 13 weeks that Mum covers from September to, uh, uh, septem September to September, yeah, each year. So, two weeks in the summer, two weeks at Christmas, two weeks at Easter. That's already, um, well, six, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. But that idea kind of works a little bit. Okay, push it to eight or nine. But yeah, more time at school, more time in education, better chance of succeeding. Better chance for a better country and a better generation. Okay, but make sure the six weeks holidays doesn't get dropped down to like three. Two weeks. Hmm. No, I well, say about four weeks. The six weeks holidays should be down to two. Two at Christmas and one at Easter. I mean, Easter isn't really that important, is it really? No, I think it is one at Easter, isn't it? Cool. No, it's two at Easter. Yeah. Well, actually, you do need two weeks because of the um, the people like to go to services and things, don't they? They've got like a That's big Easter Sunday. area. Yeah, I know, but normally in the two weeks, they normally have like certain areas of time. Well, I'm not going to Jesus and Bible stuff, so we can forget that right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, because that would just lead into a debate, which I don't want anyone to lead into. Next point. <laughs> So for our next point, we're going to be talking about Peter Capaldi's uh, costume in Doctor Who and our thoughts and opinions of it. So without further ado, let's talk with Jack on the first part of the opinions. Um, I suppose, as we've kind of discovered, uh, the Twelfth Doctor is going to have his main story, as did Eccleston's, Tennant's uh, and Smithy's. Smithy's? Smith's. <laughs> um, Matt Smith's Doctor related to the cracks in the universe. Uh, David Tennant's <laughs> kind of related to, um, I suppose, what, his death or something like that? I don't know. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What? Smithies. <laughs> it feels like a shop. It feels like a what? Smithies. It sounds like a shop. Right. <laughs> anyway. And, um, obviously... We kind of know that Peter Capaldi's Doctor's story is going to be about, hopefully, finding the <coughs> Time Lords. Because they're lost in the universe right now. Um, and I suppose oh, the Doctor stupid has idiots. of... Right? <laughs> stupid idiots, they've got all this power over time and I can't even find a way around the map. <laughs> oh, <good hell. laughs> oh, <that's sick> <laughs> I do wonder about you sometimes. I really do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> carry on. So yes, I suppose um, Peter Capaldi's Doctor has a sense of responsibility now. Other than flying around the universe and going wherever he pleases, he's now got to try and find answers to kind of find where Gallifrey is, or at least enter the realm where Gallifrey is at the moment and bring it back into the universe. The main universe, anyway. And give them a map. Yeah, and give them a map. How generous. So, I suppose the Peter Capaldi's costume kind of relates us to what kind of doctor we're going to get. Uh, so, what would you say, a more mature doctor? Um, a more sensible doctor? Because, of course, Matt Smith's doctor was kind of like, was kind of bubbly. Uh, the kind of doctor who wanted to go on an adventure all the time. So, I suppose... That, that, was, that was Matt Smith? Yeah. Uh, you know yeah, Matt Smith, right? Peter you, know, the, gonna be. you know, the action... Yeah, yeah, yeah and everything. he's very childish. David Tennant wasn't more or less serious, but I suppose at the same time, he was like a big kid, in a way, you know. 
Yeah. I suppose it was like a big kid and he was travelling around, but although facing a serious situation, he was dead on serious. And Eccleston's doctor, of course, he was pulled straight at the time war. So, of course, his uh, version of the doctor was uh, slightly more, not aggressive, but less, what's the word? Mm. I don't Join know! Join the blank. <laughs> but yeah, you guys know what probably mean. So, the costume that Peter Capaldi is wearing, I suppose, resembles him as a kind of... <laughs> I was going to say down to earth, but that's just wrong in this context. Being <laughs> earth. Um, I suppose, me. looking at the costume, I simply get a sense of maturity of the Twelfth Doctor. Um, the fact that he doesn't really want to mess around a lot, he just wants to continue on his mission and find the Time Lords. That is what the, do- uh, the, the, the new Doctor's costume says to me. He looks really old in this photo. Hmm? Looks really old in this photo, like he's staring at you, like, I know so much, let me point at the screen and show you. Well, that's probably why he's wearing the costume, you know, it's, um, it's not overcoloured. There's not too much going on. It's quite simple, you know, quite clean, straight. You know, I quite, I quite like it for its simplicity. I, I believe that, not only looking at the costume, but Peter Capaldi, with him, I think we're going to get a very exciting, um, series. Uh, in August. I mean, Series 8 is going to be a full series. No parts, no part 1, part 2. And, of course, we'll have like a, couple, a couple of months until um, the Christmas special. So, I'm generally looking forward to Series 8. Yay! And, of course, number 8 means infinity. If you turn it on its side. So, mm, yeah, you know, we'll, yeah. we'll love it for infinity. I, I don't know where I made that point from, but it, I just it thought, It is you know. quite fitting, the <laughs> fact that, you know, you say that and... Well, it hasn't been confirmed, I will put that out actually, it hasn't been confirmed that Peter Capaldi's Doctor's main story, or main st- uh, series plot, should I say, is finding the Time Lords. It is, it does look obvious Plausible. as to what's happened in the anniversary and the Christmas special with Matt Smith. It looks very obvious that Capaldi wants to find the Time Lords one way or another. So one way or another! I'm gonna find you! <laughs> I'm gonna get to get to get to one way! Oh my god! I'm sorry, that was a perfect opportunity for that song! I'm gonna find you! One way or another, to get it! To, to, to get it! Ha, 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 ha. Fly me to the moon! Da, da. <laughs> <sighs> sorry, I've had Pepsi, okay? So, I'm a bit hyper. Isn't that every day? Yes! And of course, oh. being tired doesn't help. Carry on. So, yeah, we definitely have a, a doctor to look forward to, especially in this series. You looking forward to the next series? Yes, definitely. Go, Doctor! Go, number 12! Go, everything! Yay! And I suppose there, that's where we shall end the video. So, Thanks to everyone, again, for watching our videos and taking the time. Uh, we, we really do appreciate it, uh, for taking the time to watch our videos. And, of course, subscribing as well. Um, do remember, if you subscribe, you will get uh, all the latest information as to what's going on on the channel. But, of course, the episodes we are doing right now. So, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much as well from me. It's goodbye from me, and... It's goodbye from me as well. Thank you for watching. Aww. Bye-bye for now. Thank you very much. Bye! Oh, and see you in episode 6. See you in episode 6. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Don't ask me what I was doing then.